We're having a good time around here. Um, since really Thursday night last week, and um, you know, I, I, I was saying to Carol today that it had never occurred to me that the father would throw a party. You know, did 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 that ever occur to anybody here? Like, you know, I know the angels party when someone comes into the kingdom, and you know we've had a lot of that. So the the angels are are you know, rejoicing and uh, everything, but, you know, to, to really party down here, I, I, I don't know, it's just kind of, we get so religious, don't we? We just don't think of God as having, as someone who really wants us to have fun. And um, we've just been carrying people out of here all week and <laughs> rolling them into their car and uh, all that kind of stuff. We got some good stories. Uh, <laughs> John, are you going to tell your story tonight? Yeah, part of it. <laughs> he sort of is. <laughs> um, Peter's here, I think. But Pete, why don't you come on up? Randy, come on up. And uh, I don't know how we're going to do this, but um, we just got a few things to do. A few, and you know, there's really no announcements except we're going to do this again tomorrow night if you're into it. Did, did, did that sound half-hearted to you? Yeah. Do you want to do this tomorrow? We, we had a, a meeting for the pastors. You know, the vineyard guys get together every one every t two months as a rule. And um, we, we had coordinated this when Randy was with us. And so we got together in the morning and... Uh, then it was held over, kind of took a lunch break and came back and did it again. But, you know, Peter just got so full. <laughs> what happened to you, man? Well, I guess I, I came into uh, the meeting in the morning, you know, and I, as Randy was sharing his testimony, just how God began to move uh, last year, wasn't it? When it all started for you? or August. August. Okay. This year. Well, 93, yeah. <laughs> He's drunk already. I'm out of it. <laughs> you write on your checks 93 too, right? <laughs> but, you know, he was kind of at an all-time low. And uh, I don't think I'm at, I was at my all-time low, but the last six months have sure been a... A real uh, bummer. <laughs> so uh, pretty close to the bottom. But anyway, um, as he was just sharing his testimony and, you know, how God kind of just broke in, and it really began to speak to me, you know, the joy of the Lord is our strength and how the enemy just loves to rob us of our joy to zap our strength. And, uh, you know, normally I'm pretty joyful. And... Uh, <laughs> But I came in here really clogged up, and I think it was also just an intercessory burden for the church. I, you know, people that I've talked to just feeling discouraged, and life in the desert isn't fun. And, uh, but anyway, so I came here on uh, Friday morning and just uh, said, okay, if God can do it for him, he can do it for me too. <laughs> and so I... I came forward, and I think I was about the second person up here because I, I was pretty hungry. And uh, so anyway, they just started praying for me, and John came over and started praying. And I remember he was standing in front of me and, and uh, asked the Holy Spirit to come, and he just about went over. <laughs> and I'm standing there all, you know, bunged up. Spiritual constipation, they call it. <laughs> But at any rate, uh,
Then what happened? Oh. 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 That's what happened. <laughs> you, you realize there's a couple of hundred people watching you do this. Eh? <laughs> this is how to get rid of your constipation, right? Trying to figure out why they call this the laughing revival, you know? <laughs> what are you going to do with them, oh. Heather? <laughs> Once a drunk, always a drunk. Is that it? <laughs> You know, if, if God can do this to a pastor, I think he can get anybody, don't you? <laughs> you don't want it. No, I was, I was, <laughs> <laughs> I told somebody last night not let me forget to tell a story. I'm used to this. I preach over this in my church. <laughs> Never did before until later. <laughs> Somebody said, that's not reverent. No, reverencing is doing what God's doing. <laughs> He's reverencing God right now. <laughs> Those of you sitting up there like this <laughs> are being very irreverent. <laughs> does, any, does anybody else have a story they want to tell about <laughs> Why don't, why don't you come up, Carol, right at the back there? Yeah. Yeah, come on. That's right. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. You're wasting God's time. <laughs> Just while Peter's uh, recovering. You know, you, you came Thursday, was Thursday or Friday your Friday. first time? Friday. Friday was the first time. And what was happening? Now let me see, what happened Friday? Um, Friday I, I went out cold. Now you got to remember that I used to be a nurse. I was very sophisticated. I'm very well. I'm very self-controlled. Never anything improper. And you definitely don't act like an idiot. And so I watched all the happenings on Friday evening. In the morning in my, in my friend's house, I had seen angels dancing all over the place. And when I came to the meeting Friday night, I was very, very, very disappointed because God didn't do anything for me. 
So Randy was in the aisle. Wait a minute. She comes up and says, I'm disappointed. I said, what about? Nothing happened to me. I said, did you get prayer? No. <laughs> How, how dumb can you be and still live, you know? <laughs> any rate, I landed on the floor, and I suddenly found myself in heaven at this phenomenal party where my father was sitting there, and Jesus was there, and hosts of angels and hosts of people and we were drinking and drinking and drinking. Fermented. But, but you gotta realize that the wine glass was huge. And when I drank from it, the wonderful thing of it is that when I couldn't drink anymore, I could climb into the wine glass. <laughs> and, oh, don't. <laughs> This is dangerous. <laughs> I ended up on the floor, but, but actually at the party we were telling jokes. And everybody was banging the table in heaven now. And every now and again I would close my mouth and say, I can't take anymore. And they would open up my mouth and throw it in and say, more, more. <laughs> but I didn't know it was these guys that were doing it. <laughs> More, more. <laughs> I, woke, I ended up in this, in this party and was translated into the father's arms and I was three years old. And I was very, very closely and warmly snuggled in the father's arms and I went to sleep. And I guess they had to take me to the car. Um, Sunday night there was a lot of deliverance that I had and then this guy kept on saying, Give her more, give her more, and I don't know how I got to the car. <laughs> they carry. <laughs> but I'm very proper, I want you all to know that. <laughs> Couldn't prove it by me. <laughs> and I'm getting very dizzy up here. <laughs> Can, can anybody vouch for this lady? <laughs> Steve, this is your friend, right? <laughs> we, uh... We had to, uh... We had to carry her to her car the other night and just kind of rolled her into the back seat, you know, and tied her in. And the best time is after 11. It really is. Things don't really break loose until after 11. <laughs> I got one before I want to share yeah, one thing. We, we, we need to tell you that, you know, like what, what has happened here is when it comes to the ministry time, uh, Randy's invited those who feel the, the Spirit of God on them to come up, and we've begun with those people, and it's kind of slowly building. And you know, a lot of folks have to leave, and so you know, by by uh, ten thirty or so, things are, you know, there's only half the crowd here or so. But honestly, that is when the I don't know, it's like the Holy Spirit catches his second wind or something, and wham! It's just been amazing what what God was doing, even last night. So don't go home too soon if this is what you came for. <laughs> Peter calls and I'm coming back tonight. I want to drink some more. I thought we'd get him started early. <laughs> We really want to see all the pastors really get busted big time. 
in our region, we did, we did this, and 13 pastors were there within the, within the next two weeks. Ten of them, it happened in their church. It's happened in Peter's church uh, Sunday night. Same stuff, you know, people getting stuck to the floor for hours and shaking and trembling. And... This, is, this is revival, people. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Give them a hand. <laughs> 